Hey, this is Latif Mikado, and you're listening to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, where I take some time each night to try and reflect on the freestyle scene, where it is, where it's going, and try to figure out how to sustain it, not just for future generations to enjoy, but also to benefit. So sit back, relax, and let's talk some freestyle. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Latif, and welcome to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast. And this is episode 87. It is Friday night. Is it Friday night? Yeah, it's Friday night. <laughs> um, beautiful night. I'm outside. Crickets are loud. Um, perfect, perfect night. It's crazy, man. It's been some really, really beautiful nights. It got a little hot earlier today, but um, it was fine. It was fine. Um, we finally had to make a dash out to the store, you know. I try my best not to go anywhere. I stay in the car with Santana. Angel goes inside. Uh, she goes to quit with her gloves and so on. So uh, I wish none of us would have to go out. Uh, she's a little more um, conscious um, in the stores, what she touches and so on. I tend to uh, just move freely and and I don't want to do that I just forget I just forget I know it's crazy but uh I caught myself a few times touching shit that I shouldn't be touching but um came home washed my hands so uh pumped my gas yo you want to hear something funny it's so crazy so the gas is like what 179 178 so I had to buy half a tank so I said oh man let me um let me uh let me go fill up the tank, man. Let me just uh, put some gas in here. So cheap. So Angel went in with a 20. I figure I thought maybe it'll be 25 because this this Jeep is usually like 50, 55 dollars. On a, a, an average, it might be like 45. So I gave a 20. I said, all right. I said um, and if we were a little bit, maybe a little bit less than a a half, just very little bit, like a little more than three quarters, in between three quarters and uh and a half and um no i'm sorry two was that two quarters a little more than two quarters no a little less than a little more than a quarter a little less than half there you go <laughs> uh, um and uh so she went inside i had cash so she went inside uh i usually use my car but she went in we had 20 so i said just put 20. she put 20 in there so i put the nozzle in there i'm pumping it you know i put the automatic thing to hold it and I'm standing there I'm just kind of daydreaming like I usually do when I pump gas or I do shit that boys the hell out of me uh, and uh, and then the click it, it clicked off you know click so I'm like okay now the thing is with the Jeep I don't know if it's this particular Jeep but my things always click off like they'll click off and I have to reset it put it and it'll pump a little while and it'll click off again I have to reset it but when it clicked off this time um, I went to reset it again and it went for a couple seconds, clicked off again. I'm like, damn. So I keep on doing what I'm doing. I'm not realizing that the gas is actually overflowing. And so I smelled it. I looked down, man. It's all over the side of my car. It's on the floor. I'm like, damn. I said, so, and then we would only put it like 1830. <laughs> so, so they had to give us change. Um, but it was, it was crazy. I, I just, uh, that never happened. That never happened before, um, but uh, yeah. So we did. We made our runs. Went uh, over to the elders. For those who don't know, is my cousin Lily. She's 73 or 74, 74, and my aunt. She's 96. They live right next door to each other. Like right, same complex, same apartment, basically facing the same way. So we always call them, see if they need anything, and they just needed basic stuff. My my aunt just needed some cornflakes, <laughs> some cornflakes, and my cousin just needed some bustelo, straight up Puerto Ricans. But um, uh, yeah, so we did that. We went and uh, we uh, made our little rounds and did what we had to do and came back. So we we're good with groceries. Uh, they they pretty much had everything. Very they're very limited. Um, there was just like varieties. Like so, if you want cereal, they didn't have everything, but they had a lot. You know, um, 
toilet paper they had. Uh, they didn't have like the stuff that we buy, like the Scots. They had the the little bootleg ones, but whatever. That's good for now. But um, <clears throat> and the paper towels, and napkins. That those are fine. Those are generic. We usually buy the same ones. Those were fine. And um, and then came back. So um, it's so funny because I come back in, I start swallowing and see if my throat hurts, man. Yeah, I'm just one of them dudes, man. Like, I swear I'm going to get this shit, man. Like, I could... And the, and the thing is, they say, like, you know, places like where we live is, like, we're less susceptible susceptible uh, to getting it because we're pretty um, pretty spread out. Even though we're not really spread out, I'm in a subdivision. Like, where I'm, I'm standing right in front of my Jeep. So I got my house on my right-hand side. I got my neighbor right to the left. And I can look at one. I can see, like six houses from where I'm at. So we're not that spread out, but we're not up each other's ass. So, and nobody ever comes to my house. So even when we didn't have this uh, 19 going on, this COVID-19, um, just, we're just not those kind of people. We just don't have people up in the house, unless it's an occasion. If we're doing, uh, you know, um, Thanksgiving or New Year's or Christmas or whatever the case may be, or one of our cookouts, then we have people here. And, uh, but other than that, on a normal day, nada, nothing. Uh, <clears throat> um, other than that, uh, just did some writing today, took care of a few transactions, um, paid a few bills that I really didn't want to pay uh, because I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to keep cash, you know, and hold on to cash and um, you know, my online, I do a lot of online banking. So like the accounts that I have are like online. So like my PayPal's and my, my cash apps and my stripes. So I like to keep money in those things. So I don't like to keep money all in one, one bank. You know, I, I don't, I never like to do that. I like to kind of keep it spread out. It's come in handy, uh, in the past for me doing it that way, especially because I, um, since I travel, many times I get that unusual activity shit where they lock down my card, and that sucks. And I remember the last time they did it, uh, when they the last time they did it to me, uh, I was in Florida. And I remember because it was like within one weekend, I flew like to Texas and then Chicago and then Florida, some weird thing like that. And I was using this card. All of a sudden, I'm in the store. It's crazy. And all I want to get is some snacks inside the little uh, gift shop in the hotel. And I remember Debbie Deb was in there and there was some a few acts in there. And and I go to use my card and it declines. So I got everybody here. And you know, everybody looks at me and they're like, you know, and Debbie, Debbie offers, she goes, he goes, ah, you, you need you need a few bucks. <laughs> you know, and I, I appreciate it. <laughs> I love her. But um, I didn't need a few bucks. I had uh, an account that was pretty well padded I just had no access uh to the to these funds so I tried it again and it declined again I'm like oh so I went into my wallet I had some cash I paid it but then I had to go contact the bank and find out what was up so basically they told me it was unusual activity I was like oh damn what do I do now card is dead they said well and they said, we noticed that you have a second account. And I did at that time. And I never do this. And I had a second personal account that I don't really, I just use that sometimes. Like, let's say, uh, Andrew has to run out or whatever. We just, or one of my kids need to, they need to go. So I would give them that card. I would transfer money into that card and then they could go do whatever. I definitely would not give them the regular card, <laughs> even though they've never stole from me or nothing like that still. Yeah, you know, I'll put a hundred bucks, whatever, and they could pull from that card or whatever the case may be. And um, and good thing I had that card, so I had to go online, transfer funds into the other card, and then use that one. And then when I got home, I had to, you know, apply for a temp and then do that whole thing, get rid of my card and get a new one. So um, that was a that was a drag. So, but that's what I was doing today. Today I was sorting what we have and just uh, um, because we got to be careful. You know, we have to be able to pay bills and. We still have to survive and we don't know how long this can last, you know, so I have to deal with what we have. I can't really count on anything new coming in. So I'm not the only one. I'm sure you're going through that too. Everybody is. So I'm, I'm nothing special. Just, um, 
just telling you what I had to do, you know, part of my uh, my deal today, you know. Uh, this morning I did a new TikTok video. You guys probably checked it out. It's the one that I'm in the water in the living room. Uh, it's so funny because I saw someone do something. It was whack. But they used that water filter. And I was like, okay, wait a minute. Hold up. That's kind of cool. But I wanted to do something a little different. And um, I kind of wanted to see with that exact idea, exactly what you see or what you saw. If you have not seen, go into my Facebook, go into my TikTok. You'll see it there. Um, it's really, really dope. I, just, I loved it. I had fun doing it. Um, I was hoping that nobody would. Uh, I had the, the side windows to my door uh, uncovered. I usually do. I usually leave those. I have curtains for them. I never, I, I don't know. I just, I got curtains up on now but only because it was getting hot. And I don't want the sun coming in. But um, every once in a while, you know, you'll get, you know, somebody trying to sell something. They'll come up to my door. And I was kind of hoping nobody would come up to my door because I was doing this TikTok in the living room. And I had to kind of make it seem so it was weird because I had to first lay down some some towels on the floor. Then I had to take this big bin, fill it, you know, halfway with water. And I had to make a scene. And then I had to find a really cool stream that matched the water of the filter. I had to find like this stream on online. And I found it. It was kind of dope. If you look at it, you'll see what I did. And uh <laughs> I had, I had, I thought it was gonna take me a long time. Knocked it out in like one shot. It was done. Uh, it came out pretty cool. So when you guys get a chance, check that out. I'm getting a lot of you guys calling me. Well, not calling me, but sending me texts or uh, a lot of Facebook messages telling me thank you for making them laugh or whatever the case. And man, I, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm glad. It's actually it's very therapeutic for me. I love doing it. I just love doing them. Um, uh, everything else is uh, still the same. Not much happening. Uh, some of the new stuff that's going on is we're starting to do um, um, uh, Santana School Online. So now this is interesting because we're, we're, we're using Zoom. So her teacher, now we missed a couple days because I wasn't getting the emails. I don't know where they were, what was happening, but the emails were getting lost and they weren't communicating the information right. And they were sending us like too many different passwords to go into two different many portals. It was just confusing. And I was like, um, then finally, um, I was able to get in yesterday and we got it into her. Uh, and it was kind of cool because the teacher popped up on the screen and up on the top was all her classmates. So she got a really, she got a kick out of it. I stayed on the side just in case something went wrong with the computer. Um, and she had a really good time and it was kind of it was kind of cool. Today, um, I, I know how to, with that program, I know how to manipulate it. Since I have green screens and stuff, I'm able to manipulate her background, which was cool. Uh, so then I basically see my office. I'm able to put whatever I want in the background. So I put like this out of space kind of. I wish I could do a video. I can't. I can only do um, still photos. But it still is really, really cool. But uh, the class is supposed to start at 4. And it never happened. She said she might be a little late unless I did something wrong or they sent me the wrong code. or what, I don't know what the hell. Um, but she never came on. We stayed there till almost an hour and never came on. Finally, I, I logged off. I was like, OK, you know, so I'm hoping that they did. They just didn't go and that I didn't miss out, you know. Uh, and what's cool about with the background now, now, like every time she has a class, I can change the background for her, you know, and uh, it could be pretty interesting. <laughs> So <laughs> that's what happens when your your grandfather uh, messes with film and video. <laughs> can't be a regular class, so it's got to be some special effects in the background. They're lucky they can't do um, motion because I would have put her on a on a beach with the waves and everything, <laughs> or on a boat, <laughs> you know. Uh, so, um, but it was kind of cool. It was kind of cool and uh, a little noisy. The the parents, though, I gotta say, man, the parents. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes, man, people surprise me, man. Just not so bright, you know. So you know, this is a class. You know that there's other kids. Everybody has to be able to hear. Why would you let your other kids, you know, play there? Put, put your. You got your. I, it's obviously that these kids are on phones or iPads. I think Santana might have been one of the f very few that were on actual computer. That's because I have my Brio, my camera, which is like a, a HD high definition uh, a camera. So it looks really, really good. 
And these other people look like they're just giving the, their kids a phone and the phone is put down and they're sitting there. And they're, their siblings, their little siblings are running around, dogs running around, people walking around the back. And, that, you know, there, there's a lot of noise. So, you know, it's real noisy and it's just, you know, it's just horrible, man. It's like, why would you guys do that, you know? And it's just like everybody's just... <sighs> I could tell the, the teacher was just trying to be nice, but, but uh, yeah, they definitely need to create some sort of a protocol, some sort of a, um, some rules, you know? I mean, put your kid in your be- in the bedroom, put them anywhere, put them in a the bathroom if you have to, just somewhere where they they can concentrate and they're, they're, you know, they don't have all this noise. Put them in the car if you have to. Uh, keep it so it's, you know, so everybody, make it like a class. Right now they're doing it like they're freaking FaceTiming. They're not FaceTiming. Teachers trying to teach stuff and trying to, it, it's crazy. They, they definitely need to, uh, to work on that. But I'll tell you one thing. I was telling Angel this. I think I brought this up to you guys yesterday, man. I can see that this becoming a standard. I can see a lot of what's going on now becoming part of our new culture you know the you know where you know for instance people aren't shaking hands you know um japan i think japan i don't think they shake hands they don't i know they don't Uh, i think india doesn't shake hands i think they like put their hands together and bow uh i don't know who else um but i can see this I could I can see this becoming a United States trend. And I don't think it's a bad one. I mean, I'd rather I'll bow to my friend, you know? Or how about a pound? How about, you know, a fist pound? How about that? You know? I mean, really, that could be the become the new thing because after all of this, I think people are going to be very careful, very cautious of who they shake hands with. I really do. I mean, you got people like that. Now, I know celebrities, personally, that don't like to shake hands, you know? Um, they're very, you know, because you think about it, you got to be careful, you know? you If you're a celebrity, you're shaking hands with a lot of people, you know? Uh, <clears throat> the same thing, like, with with my artists, like, a lot of times I have girls. So one of the things that we try to avoid, and it's not for nothing, is the, is, is the kissing. A lot of people want to see the girls, and they want to kiss them hello, and... And I think the kissing has to, when you're doing stuff like that, you can't, man. You can't. You know, one person, you run into someone in the lobby at a hotel, okay, that's fine, you know. But you can't, if we have a line of 300, 400 people lined up to do autographs, they can't, they, they can't kiss everybody. And the girls don't really kiss nobody, but they kiss them. But, man, you could end up with some real crud on your face by the end of the night. And that shit could get you real sick. Uh, the hugs are cool. Those are fine, you know. But that kissing, you know, when you're doing that, it's just, it's just risky. Uh, shaking hands, I honestly hope that they, that becomes, that, that, that's taken out of our custom. I don't care for it, you know. Don't get me wrong, I shake hands, I do. I'm just saying, and, and I, I, I've always, no, let me, let me rephrase this. I've always enjoyed shaking hands with people. But what I'm saying is if they decide to change it because of this reason, I'm cool with it. I can understand it and I can agree with it. Not a problem. I don't think it's going to do anything to our society, you know. But, uh, yeah, no, I I shake a lot of hands. So um, so it's I don't have an issue with that. But uh, I could see it changing and I'll be I'll be one of the first ones to to stand up and say, yeah, pound, you know, Um, but uh, when I'm on the road, I shake a lot of hands, too. I really do. Um, but you know what's crazy is that, you know, we're in the different generation, so we do more of the thug hug. So it's not, a lot of times it's not a straight, straight shake. A lot of times it's a boom, you know, you're inter, inter, uh, interlacing the thumbs and then boom, hug, thug hug, you know. Um, that's very common with our generation. So... Um, so maybe the new generation is going to be a straight up pound. I went over to see my aunt the other day. She's the one, the 96 year old. <laughs> and I went over there and I forgot. This was like at the beginning of this whole thing. And as soon as I walked in, she goes, don't kiss me. She threw her elbow out. 
<laughs> so I can take my elbow and we pound the elbow. She wouldn't even pound with the hand. She pound with the elbow. <laughs> So, but you know what? She's smarter than us all because she's 96 years old. If anybody needs to be pounding with the elbow, it's her. So, but uh, but anyway, uh, that's it for the, for for uh, for tonight, folks. Um, again, it's Friday night. Uh, man, stay home, enjoy yourself. I think tomorrow we're gonna hit try to do the yard. I got like a mess back then. This grass is like as soon as I cut it, uh, it rains. <laughs> And the grass like grows, you know, like from one hour to the next, crazy. So, but uh, I'll, I'll be talking to you guys tomorrow night. You know, be safe, stay home, watch some movies. If you guys want to binge on a really cool, if you have Amazon Prime, check out The Americans. That's a good one. Um, that's a really good one. I think you guys would like that. Those are the kind of uh, kind of uh, shows that I like. Uh, I'm not even gonna tell you what it's about, but uh, trust me, uh, you'll you'll like it. Uh, all right, guys, until tomorrow night, be cool, be safe, stay safe, and stay home, okay? And uh, good night, Freestyle. Before I lay me down to sleep, I pray to hear a freestyle beat. For if I die before I wake, I hope to make it to the break.